apps and video games like this help in the treatment and the early diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. This patient's association in northern Greece has teamed up with researchers to find out. Hermione was 49 when she was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. She's one of the 35 patients volunteering here in Thessaloniki to test different video games designed to provide better treatments. She still works teaching German as a foreign language, but she says the disease has abruptly changed her life. Now I need to have more time to schedule all my routine activities. For example, when I go shopping, I know I'll need more time, so I don't go to the supermarket during rush hour because I put my shopping into the bags very slowly and I don't want to be stressed. I also take more time to get ready for my work, to get dressed or finish my makeup for all my daily activities. I need more time, even for cooking. Researchers have developed 14 different scenarios to help patients regain muscle tension, improve their general fitness, or even fight depression. Currently under clinical evaluation, with a medical prescription, these serious games can be used in clinics as well as home. After a medical prescription, we believe that if patients play at least three or four of these games for around 30 minutes per day every week, they will see an improvement in the symptoms of the disease, and the disease's evolution can be stabilized. Neurologists will eventually be able to check their patients' progress, both online and during regular consultations. Here in Greece, doctors say these serious games could indeed become a useful tool for treatment. These exercises, these computer programs, can be really effective as treatment tools because they're very targeted, tailor-made. They can be adapted to each patient's needs. Scientists at this European Union research project also want to improve the early diagnosis of Parkinson's. With the help of a non-invasive platform embedded into everyday connected devices such as smartphones or watches. We're testing our artificial intelligence tools in many different users, both healthy persons and Parkinson's patients. The app helps us collect meaningful data all year round, so we're able to accurately identify lasting changes in the volunteers. And this should help us to determine useful patterns that could lead us to the early diagnosis of the disease. The system aims to identify minor tremors, slowing of movements, voice degradation or some facial expressions commonly related to eventual Parkinson's disease symptoms. We're pretty optimistic. After three years of research and development, we've achieved an accuracy rate of about 82 to 85 percent in our prediction of early diagnosis. Now, of course, we need to extend our patient's base to get even more data, and that is our target for the next years. Researchers say they hope their different tools will eventually help fight a disease that affects at least 10 million people worldwide.